Imagine a city choking in smog, and then rain is triggered artificially to wash the air. That's exactly what happened over New Delhi recently, when a cloud seeding trial was launched in a bid to bring relief from severe pollution and smog. On 28 October 2025, the Delhi government, in collaboration with IIT Kanpur, flew a small aircraft over northwest Delhi and the NCR, firing silver iodide flares in two cloud seeding attempts. The cost, over 1 crore rupees for these two trials, sanctioned in May 2025. The aim? To trigger rainfall and reduce particulate pollution. Yet the outcome was no significant rainfall. Moisture in the clouds was just around 10 to 15 percent, far too low for success. Now the question is, why do we need to seed clouds? The idea is simple, when rain falls, it helps wash out suspended dust, fine particles, PM2.5, PM10, smoke, and other pollutants from the air. So when natural rainfall is insufficient, cloud seeding offers a way to trigger showers that can temporarily improve air quality and visibility in dusty and highly polluted areas. Cloud seeding is a weather modification technique that assists clouds to produce rainfall when they already have moisture. It works by dispersing tiny particles, most often silver iodide, or AGI, into the cloud. The silver iodide particles act like ice nuclei, they attract supercooled cloud droplets, trigger freezing or coalescence, and help form raindrops. But the key point, there must already be a suitable cloud with sufficient water content. Without that, seeding has little effect. However, the science also says, effectiveness is variable. A report by the U.S. Government Accountability Office found increases in precipitation from cloud seeding ranged from 0 to around 20 percent, depending on conditions. So while promising, it's not a guaranteed rainfall maker. In India, several states have experimented with cloud seeding for rainfall enhancement. For example, the project Varshadhare in Karnataka was launched in 2017, covering Bengaluru, Gadag, and Yadgir districts. Reports suggest rainfall enhancement of 10 to 30 percent in some cases. The scale and monitoring vary, but the potential is clear. Similarly, states such as Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, and Andhra Pradesh have undertaken warm cloud modification experiments using salt particles and silver iodide. In the 11-year experiment in Maharashtra, a 24 percent increase in rainfall was reported under suitable cloud conditions. Globally, Cloud seeding is used in countries like the United Arab Emirates and China. China's weather modification system is massive, the Beijing Weather Modification Office claims to have increased precipitation by about one-eighth using rockets and silver iodide. In the UAE too, the technique is used to boost rainfall and mitigate drought risk. Let's see what are the benefits and limitations of cloud seeding-induced rainfall. Benefits can enhance rainfall by perhaps 10 to 30 percent under favorable conditions. Helps water scarce regions and can help clear polluted air when timed right. Limitations Only works when clouds already contain enough moisture and updrafts. It's expensive, for example, Delhi's trial cost around 64 lakh rupees per attempt. Environmental and ethical questions persist, like cloud stealing or unintended downstream effects. For an engineering consultancy like Techbury, working in water infrastructure and pollution control, cloud seeding highlights two important messages. Rainfall enhancement can be part of an integrated pollution mitigation strategy, for example, artificially induced rainfall combined with mechanized sprinkler systems. Technical success depends on proper meteorological planning, real-time monitoring, suitable cloud conditions, and rigorous evaluation of outcomes. Without these, the tools may fall short. At Techbury, we combine advanced meteorological modeling, water infrastructure solutions, and mechanized sprinkler systems to help mines and industries suppress dust and improve air quality, thereby ensuring regulatory compliance. After all, cleaner air starts with smarter water. Cloud seeding may not summon rain on command, but it shows how science, data, and engineering can work together for clearer skies and sustainable cities. Techbury, engineering water, enabling life. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel.